coronavirus disease covid 19 and in this video i'm going to give advice for the general public and this video clearly confined to the myth busters because there are so many myths which are floating in the social media and i'm going to answer the questions for all the myths over here from the evidence so far the covid 19 virus can be transmitted in all areas including the areas with hot and humid weather regardless of the climate adopt protective measures if you live in or travel to an area reporting covid 19 but the best advisors do not travel anywhere at this moment and the best way to protect yourself from the covid 19 is by frequently cleaning your hands by doing this you can eliminate virus that may be on your hands and avoid infections that could occur by then touching your eyes mouth and nose there is no reason to believe that cold weather can kill the new coronavirus or other diseases the normal human body temperature remains around 36.5 degrees centigrade to 37 degrees centigrade so regardless of the external temperature or weather so the most effective way to protect yourself against the new coronavirus is by frequently cleaning your hands with alcohol based hand rub or washing them with soap and water and this is very very funny here taking a hot bath will not prevent you from catching covid 19 many people are saying go to the sun taking hot bath again and again i want to remind you that your normal body temperature remains around 36.5 degrees centigrade to 37 regardless of the temperature of your bath or shower actually taking hot bath with extremely hot water can be harmful as it can burn you so the best way to protect yourself with the COVID-19 is again and again I want to repeat the sentence that is by cleaning your hands. So what will happen by doing this again and again you can eliminate virus that may be on your hands and also avoid infection that could occur by then touching to your eyes mouth and nose. So as of today there has been no information nor evidence to suggest that the new coronavirus could be transmitted by mosquitoes. The new coronavirus is a respiratory virus which spread primarily through the droplets generated when the person that is infected person coughs or sneezes or through the droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose. This is how it is going to be transmitted. So the answer is absolutely no. Hand dryers are not effective in killing SARS-CoV-2. So to protect yourself against the new coronavirus, again and again, you have to wash your hands with alcohol based hand rub or wash them with soap and water so once your hands are cleaned you should dry them thoroughly by using paper towels or a warm air dryer uv lamps should not be used to sterilize hands or other areas of skin because uv radiation can cause skin irritation so it is not effective against coronavirus too so what are these thermal scanners Thermal scanners are effective in detecting people who have developed a fever, which is a sign. That is, have a higher than normal body temperature. So because of the infection, mainly with the new coronavirus, because fever is considered to be the first clinical manifestation what the patients will develop with this disease. However, they cannot detect people who are infected, but are at sick with fever. So this is because it takes between 2 to 10 days before the people who are infected to become sick and develop a fever or maybe other symptoms such as dyspnea or cough. No, not at all. Spraying alcohol or chlorine all over your body will not kill the virus that have already entered your body. But spraying such substances can be harmful to clothes or mucous membranes that is eyes and mouth. So be aware that both alcohol and chlorine can be useful to disinfect the surfaces but they need to be used under appropriate recommendations. Again, my answer is no for this question because vaccines against pneumonia such as pneumococcal vaccine and Haemophilus influenza type B vaccine do not provide protection against new coronavirus. The virus is so new and different that it needs its own vaccine. And researchers are trying to develop a vaccine against 2019 novel coronavirus and WHO is supporting their efforts. Although these vaccines are not effective against 
novel coronavirus that is 2019, vaccination against respiratory illness is highly recommended to protect your health. Again, the answers for this question is no. Because there is no evidence that regularly rinsing the nose with saline has protected people from the infection with the new coronavirus. And there is some limited evidence that regularly rinsing nose with saline will help people recover more quickly from the common cold. But however, regularly rinsing the nose has not been shown to prevent respiratory infections also. So garlic is a healthy food and may have some antimicrobial properties. But however, there is no evidence from the current outbreak saying that the eating garlic has protected people from the new coronavirus. And this is very important question here. Remember that people of all ages can be infected by the new coronavirus. Older people and the people with the pre-existing medical conditions such as asthma, diabetes, heart disease like hypertension appear to be more vulnerable to becoming severely ill with the virus. And WHO advises people of all ages to take steps to protect themselves from the virus, for example, by following good hand hygiene and good respiratory hygiene. No, you should not take antibiotics at all right now because antibiotics do not work against viruses. They work only against bacteria. Remember that this new coronavirus is a virus and therefore antibiotics will not be used as a means of prevention or a treatment. But however, if you are hospitalized for the 2019 novel coronavirus, you may receive antibiotics because of bacterial co-infection is possible in the healthcare settings. But it is not used to prevent nor as a treatment for this novel coronavirus at all. So as of today, to date, there is no specific medicine recommended to prevent or to treat this new coronavirus. However, those infected with the virus should receive appropriate care to relieve and treat symptoms and, and those with severe illness should receive optimized supportive care. And some specific treatments are under investigation and will be tested through clinical trials. And World Health Organization is helping to accelerate the research development efforts with a range of partners. So this is what you need to know about uh, the novel coronavirus and do not believe about the myths and if you have any doubt go back to the WHO site or CDC site.